It's been a while since we did a mashup of hot topics, but this one it has one theme. Divas, queens, and some of our favorite artists, including Spice is coming out and confirming that she did not die and that she was not in a coma. And Beyonce has some tricks up her sleeve that might include virtual reality. And Whitney Houston's manager, Pat Houston, is saying that she sold off Whitney's assets to avoid the negativity around her legacy? Girl. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day after the election. Look, I don't know about you. I'm a little wore out from some of the results. But let's do a mashup of music-related hot topics. First off, I'm so happy that we can report this news that Spice is on the mend. However, you may recall there were quite a few rumors these last couple of weeks that she was she had went under the knife and that she had a heart attack and that she was in a coma. Well, now she's breaking her silence on Instagram and letting us know what really happened. So this is what Spice said in a caption on her Instagram. She says this with a beautiful photo of her with her hands together like this. She says this in the caption, Thank you, Jesus, for saving my life. Hey, besties, I'm in a better place today to properly update you on my current health situation. I suffered a damaged hernia a few days ago. That sent my body a few days ago. Okay. A few days ago, that sent my body into sepsis. As a result, I was rushed to the hospital for immediate surgery. As you know, I've been off social media for a while to rest mentally. So little did I know that during my medical scare, it was already been said that I had a heart attack, I was in a coma, and I also died. But none of that is true. However, I'm still recovering from what really happened. So thanks so much for all the prayers and concerns. Please take, take great care of yourself. Eat, live, love, laugh like it's your last day. I love you all so much. I love it when we can report from the, from the person that she's okay. Because I saw those stories, but like I said, there were conflicting reports. So I was just like, I don't want to report on something if... People that work closely with her are saying that's not true. But then there are people that know her that are saying that, that it is true. There was a lot of mix up out there. Who knows what's in between? All I know is that Spice is doing better. Spice, take care. Take care. Your health, if you have nothing else, you can have all the money in the world. But if you don't have your health, you have nothing. Okay? All right. Moving on from that. Can we talk about Beyonce? So you may have, if you follow me on Twitter... Twitter's a, a, a trash right now. I don't know what's going on Twitter. So, there is this rumor, because shout out to the Beehive. You know I love Beyonce, but I'm, I'm, I'm a straight shooter. When, when necessary, I will report on stuff that I have to report on when it comes to Beyonce that might not be favorable. But I posted on Twitter earlier today that Beyonce has upped the game on so many levels in music and entertainment, and some of you are still out here acting like it's the 90s. She keeps up in the game and you guys just keep doing the same thing. Well, she's about to up the game again, reportedly. So reportedly, Beyonce might be incorporating virtual reality with the Renaissance Project, allegedly. And this is coming from Twitter, a Twitter fan account. Because you know what we do here? We cite our sources. So this is coming from uh, Bees Hive. And then... And, I implore you, go, because they're they're citing and they're showing different um, ideas of what could be coming from Beyonce. So we've been waiting on act two and three. And a lot of you are like, where are the visuals? Where are the visuals? Well, when you're trying to do greatness and you're doing it at this level, it's going to take some time. So I just wanted to highlight something that they, they highlight here. So Beyonce, this is from an article. Beyonce invented the, invented the visual album with Beyonce, although arguably she did so even earlier with her 2006 album, B-Day, for which she released a DVD with, with videos for all 13 tracks. Remember that? That was years ago. 
It looks like this time her sights are set on pioneering new musical experiences through virtual reality too. She's reported to be working with Jay-Z-backed Spatial Labs, which builds technology for the metaverse. Okay? And The Wave, which creates a live, interactive, and immersive musical experiences. Rewind back to when I told you before the Renaissance album came out. Didn't I tell you that she was working on a more interactive experience? This is confirming what we reported months ago before Renaissance was even dropped. So it looks like this, I thought it was just going to be, you know, look, interactive, meaning that Beyonce is going to be in front of us. But she might be in front of us, but she might not be actual Beyonce. But it doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop there. They also highlight this. They said the music wasn't the only place Beyonce had input. The actress took a hands-on approach to learning how the photo real imagery was created. Whenever she came by to work on it, she was incredibly curious about the technology as I showed her the, techni the techniques and materials. She rolled up her sleeves and got into the VR and started to mess around with all of the tools the director recounted. Beyonce is a Virgo, okay? So I'm not surprised by any of this. She says, I th they say, I think... Like most people who are at the pinnacle of their industry, she has a really good sense of how new things can inform other things she's working on. Lemonade was happening around the time we were just beginning to work together. And you could see how art and filmmaking and fashion and music were all interweaving for her, he continued. And then Robert Schobel on Twitter said this, when I say at Beyonce is going to kick ass in VR, I was just shown why. It's about fantasy per voxel. Whatever that means. I don't care. Look, I, like I said before, we told you that Beyonce was working on something. And this explains why it's been taking the time that it's taking. Because Beyonce is a perfectionist. Beyonce is not going to put out anything half ass. But I'm telling you, entertainers, singers, performers, dancers, if you, if you are not doing things at this level at this point in 2022, what are you really doing? Are you really an artist? <laughs> I mean, yes, you are. Look, I don't want to take away from you. Because some people are going to be like, I'm going to go up there with my guitar and just my beautiful voice. And that is wonderful, too. I can appreciate artists like that. Jasmine Sullivan, okay? I can appreciate artists like that. But if you are trying to be the next pop star, the next Beyonce, the next Michael... This is something that Michael Jackson would have done. This is something that Michael Jackson would have done. And I always waited to, to see this era of Beyonce get to... Like, she's always been a hard worker, but I wanted to her to start innovating what she was doing as an artist. And she literally is doing it. I'm like a proud papa, but we're the same age. <laughs> Beyonce. Beyonce's about to kill it, y'all. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Because I don't want this video to be too long. But look. Pat Houston. <sighs> Pat Houston. She's not directly related to Whitney Houston. She married Whitney's brother. She managed Whitney for a long time up until Whitney's death. She's been criticized by a lot of fans for monetizing so much off of Whitney's passing. Look, I'll say this. Here's the difference that I saw with what went down with Aaliyah's legacy versus Whitney's legacy. Aaliyah's legacy, they, I, for me, I felt like they didn't capitalize off of her legacy, which not, when I say capitalize, I don't mean just to make money, but no, to make sure that her music is out there, that people that didn't know who Aaliyah was had that information. So we just got Aaliyah music on streaming networks, okay? But the difference with Pat Houston, it felt very cheap. It felt very like, let me just do anything. Instead of, look at Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson's a perfect example. The people he put in place, not family, not family, people that he worked with, attorneys that he worked with, as the executives of his estate, he ends he ends up making even more money after his after he passed away than he made during his life, because they they have been continuously protecting his legacy and making sure whatever he puts out there is at the level that Michael Jackson would want. Unfortunately, people have criticized Pat for not doing that, for just sort of like throwing everything out there, including 
look, we were just talking about virtual reality, including that um, doppelganger, what, whatever you want to call it, that didn't look like Whitney, in my opinion. Well, now our friends over the Jasmine brand are reporting that Pat Eusen is explaining why she decided to sell all of Whitney Eusen's assets after her passing. So they report this. They said the Dance With Somebody artist's sister-in-law and former manager, Pat Eusen, says, that why, says that's why she opted to sell the singer's assets following her death because she wanted Whitney's legacy to be remembered fondly. In February of 2012, it was sadly reported, of course, as you know, Whitney Houston, oh my God, it's been 10 years. Uh, Whitney Houston died after drowning in a, tub, a bathtub. It was later reported that cocaine use and heart disease were contributing factors. She, she was eight, eight, 48 at the time. So it was just announced, Primary Wave uh, announced in, via a tweet a decade after the legend's death, the marketing and publishing whiz treating catalogs as dynamic, lucrative brands is helping to refresh her legacy and to turbocharge her estate's revenue. All right. So speaking on the decision to partner with Primary Wave, Pat Euston says this. With everything that's going on right now, she's still touching lives and that's what I want to do in a very positive way. She should be remembered by her music and the work that she's done in the community, not by her relationships. She says, and the fact that all these types of things are happening proves that. It's a clear path without any distractions to make th things continue to happen for her legacy. Primary Wave says that Houston's estate is, uh, was originally valued at $14 million, which quadrupled following the partnership. In it in included is Houston's publishing, master recording revenue, name, likeness, and brand. Reportedly, the company's responsible for the upcoming bio biopic, which I saw the preview of. And I know some people are like, I'm over the Whitney Houston um, movies and documentaries. However, this one is from the writer of Bohemian Rhapsody. And the preview, another trailer came out today. It looks so good. I'm going to see this one just because for the love of Whitney and for the love that this looks like it's it's been done. Because a lot of you said, why are we doing a Lifetime movie? This is what we were talking about, Pat. No, we should have started where we are going to be in December with this new movie. That's where we should have started. Not with Lifetime. Sorry, Lifetime. Yeah, we, we know some of you love Lifetime, but not for our Whitney Houston. So along with this, along with this, is the part of that uh, of the part the the uh, partnership reported the company's responsible for the upcoming biopic I want to dance with somebody and additionally plan to roll out a perfume line a max a mac cosmetics partnership and an archival book on Houston's life reportedly the company and Pat both hope to keep Houston's legacy focused on the undeniable impact she had on people's lives look I think when we talk about Whitney Houston we are still very hurt that this gift, this voice, which has never been duplicated, never been duplicated, has gone on. Especially this week as we, we, we mourn the loss of Aaron Carter. But people in the comments have been very critical of Pat Houston because they always feel like everything she does is for money. This is why she's selling it. It's not for Whitney's legacy. However, if we look at the history of some of your favorite artists, especially black artists, they are all literally selling off their catalog. I believe Food Future just sold off his catalog and he hasn't even been around that long. There are plenty of reasons behind doing it. Most notably, one of our legends and icons, Tina Turner, did very similar, uh, reportedly for millions, millions. I forgot the exact number, but it was probably like three times as much as what they're talking about here with Whitney. But that will change, of course. The difference here is that Tina is still with us, so there's still more that Tina can do that can add to the value of, of her catalog. But Whitney Houston's catalog already? I, can, I think this is a smart move when it comes to business. No matter the intention of what's happening with Pat Houston, we also have to remember Sissa Houston's still with us. I'm sure she still is provided for through, you know, Whitney's estate. So all of this will continue to help them, but also continue to make sure that Whitney Houston's legacy is handled properly when it comes to the business side of things. 
no matter how you feel about Pat Houston, understanding that she's like, you know, this is bigger than me. I'm sure she was weighing all of her options and the biggest payday for this. But it's also a smart option to make sure that Whitney's legacy, her musical legacy, continues even past, you know, a, a Pat Houston or family. Guys, as always, I want to know your reaction to the Spice news, to the Beyonce news, and to the Whitney Houston news. Are you looking forward to this movie? Have you seen the trailer? Be sure to check that out. Let me know your thoughts and if you will be watching it. Let's have that conversation in the comment section. And as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.